We're talking about the use of long length partials in your training. Stretch at the top, pull down partially. That is just as effective or even more than doing the complete range of motion. And so is this in fact true? Well, Coach Greg, in today's video, we're going over the top fitness trends of 2024. And so there are many things people are doing in their training, their diet, nutrition, and so on. And some of these trends, they're great. They make sense. You should be doing them. And some of them are not. So we're going to be going over several of these. Should you be doing them, avoiding them? Let's get right into it. First up is one that makes my heart sing, and that's training for longevity. And so the first trend is longevity training. And basically what that means is not just lifting weights. You need to do cardio. You should also be stretching. And so in case you're new to this, you should be doing 150 minutes of zone two cardio a week. That is the minimum. And for increased longevity, if you want to take it up a notch, improve your VO2 max, do so by adding in some sprints, some harder efforts on top of those 150 minutes, perhaps one or two days a week. You can actually go hard. You can do harder cardio, but for the most part, regular zone two cardio, that's all you need. But if you're looking for maximum longevity, add in a couple of harder days into your week. We're talking about cold water immersion or ice baths. And next up, cold water therapy. You know, going in the ice baths. I desperately wanted to do this, but I just can't. It's too hard. I'm just too big of a pansy. I can't do it. I want to do it as the benefits are huge. You can increase your dopamine for several hours following a cold plunge. It can make you feel good. You have more energy. You feel better. You basically are on a high. And so why not do this? But one thing you shouldn't do is do cold water therapy right after lifting weights. And the reason for that is because it reduces the inflammation in the muscle. And this inflammation actually helps you to build muscle. And so if you are using cold water therapy, try to wait at least four hours after your workout before going into the ice water. And the next trend in 2024 that's in training to failure. And the next trend is actually training to failure. For several years, people have been saying, oh, three IR refs in reserve. Don't push yourself. You're natural. You can't train hard. Everyone needs to go easy in the gym. You should use your volume. No one should train to failure. You just can't recover. But those same people who keep seeing that, you watch them train and they're training harder than last time. They're pushing themselves in the gym. Oftentimes they're going to failure and beyond. And so which should you do? Well, for me, training to failure and or beyond failure is important for anyone who's an intermediate or advanced level trainer. If you're a beginner, that is great. You don't need to train that hard. You have newbie gains. You don't have to push yourself. All you have to do is train harder than last time. And since you hadn't trained before, any kind of training, it's actually going to feel hard. But once you've been training for several years, you need to push yourself. If you stop at three reps from failure and you never actually push yourself, you are for certain limiting your gains in the gym. So I have a trend that's out in 2024. Okay, what do you got? Overproduced videos with unsubstantiated science. And next up, the next trend, if you look on social media, Instagram, YouTube, you see so many graphics. You see the muscle moving over each other. People are showing you all these holograms, graphics, and quoting studies and saying, do this and do that, using bid words and overcomplicating everything. Meanwhile, if you actually read the study, it has nothing to do with what they're saying. And they're simply trying to sound smart. So many people, blah, 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 do this, do that, hypertrophy here, over there. But they don't actually tell you to just go to the gym and train. Years ago, people used to put on muscle. They went to the gym and they trained hard. Now, people are trying to overcomplicate everything. Extend this year, one inch to the right, left. They're overcomplicating training. All you have to do to make gains is show up to the gym consistently and actually push yourself. Progressive overload, which means to train harder than last time. You don't have to worry about all the mumbo jumbo, the science. It's getting ridiculous. You go to the gym and you train, use proper form. You don't have to make it into a science experiment every time you go to the gym. And so with everything that people maybe want less in 2024, there's maybe something that they want more of. And that would be more of that less produced, non-judgmental, somewhat calming or almost inviting Bob Ross approach to making fitness videos. And so the next trend is delivering content without overdoing production. You can, as Sam Sulik does, just simply speak to the camera. Share your experiences. You don't need to use all this extra editing. Everything is thrown here. Every five seconds you see a different image. 
People just want to listen to you. You can actually talk to the camera, give your opinion, talk about it, and that's how people learn. And so that is definitely a trend in 2024. More people are trying to just be themselves, talk open and honest about what they're doing, and it's working for many people. And so look for that in 2024. Next up on our list is metabolic training. And the next trend is metabolic training. And let me briefly tell you what this is. Metabolic training is designed so that you burn a lot of calories both during your workout and after. It allows you to combine both building muscle and improving your cardio at the same time. And so essentially what you're doing is you're going to the gym and you're doing a variety of exercises back to back. For example, you can do the bench press followed by the lat pull downs, follow that up by squats, do then leg curls, then bicep curls, then tricep press downs. And so you're continuously training and therefore burning up a lot of calories. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're also training your muscles harder than last time. You're putting in a very strong effort for both lifting weights, doing cardio, and burning as many calories as possible. In comparison, typically when you go to the gym, you do a set, you rest a couple minutes, you do another set, and you repeat this. And so you're not burning a lot of calories. And so by doing metabolic training, people are building muscle, improving their cardio, burning a lot of calories, beating up their metabolism all at the same time. And so if you're interested in that, by all means, give it a shot. Now, I should caution you. If you do this form of training, you're not going to have as much muscle as if you train the other way. You cannot build as much muscle if you're not resting between sets. If your heart rate's consistently at 150 or 180 beats per minute, you can't possibly push as hard. And so you're not going to see professional bodybuilders train like this. But if you're just a regular guy, girl, circle, just trying to get in shape, have muscle, lower body fat, this is an excellent training style for you. Next, we have one that ended 2023 on a hot streak and actually carried it right through here into 2024. We're talking about the use of long length partials in your training. And next up, the use of long length partials of which Jeff Nippard made a video on this. And what it basically means is that you can build a shit ton of muscle, perhaps even more than doing complete range of motion exercises. If you, for example, on the lat pull down, stretch at the top and pull down partially, stretch at the top, pull down partially, that is just as effective or even more than doing the complete range of motion. And so is this in fact true? Well, maybe, we're not sure, but why not get the best of both worlds. Do complete range of motion exercise all the way up, all the way down. Do several reps of that. And then when you're tired, exhausted or at the end, then do those partial reps. We've all known about doing partial reps when doing exercises to train past and beyond failure. And so why not incorporate long leg partials after you've reached failure during your sets? Next up for what's hot in 2024 for fitness is steroids and PEDs. Can you freaking believe it? Uh, yeah, I actually can't freaking believe it because they're talked about way too much. And so the next trend is everyone talking about using HRT and or steroids. Every year, people are using them at younger and younger ages. Teenagers are posting about it on TikTok. People are talking about HRT. They're in their 20s. Listen, if you're a teenager, if you're in your 20s, you don't need anything. You have newbie gains to look forward to. And so just because you're seeing so many people talk openly about the fact they're on HRT or using trend or SARMs or whatever, doesn't mean you should start incorporating it into your own training. Remember, these things are dangerous. In many countries, they are in fact illegal and only use them with the advice and consent from your own doctor. Artificial intelligence. So it's in. It's in. Uh, not quite yet. Another trend is coaches now, they're not even doing up their clients' programs anymore. They're typing in on artificial intelligence saying, hey, design a workout that uses the chest and give it to this person. And so is that in fact good or is it bad? Well, I don't know. Perhaps if the coach doesn't know what they're doing, artificial intelligence perhaps gives them a better workout. But do you really need to hire a coach if all they're going to do is use artificial intelligence to tell you what to do? If that's the case, why not just do it yourself? If you want to get a workout program, you can always use artificial intelligence, get them to make your own workout. See how it goes. I think there's nothing wrong with that. If it can save some people some money, perhaps people can't afford an actual coach, but sometimes you want somebody to be held accountable to. If your coach is artificial intelligence, very different difficult to say how you feel mentally, emotionally, spiritually, to have discussions, how you're feeling bad about something or to make tweaks and changes as you go on. And so I still believe even in 24, it's still valuable to hire a coach. I got something that's in for you. What's that? Recording yourself in the gym, something I'm quite fond of. Next up, filming in the gym, more people than ever before, bringing in their tripods and cameras and filming all their workouts. I don't know if people are hoping to capture special moments on film to go viral or if people just can't train anymore without filming themselves, but 
Posting your workouts and videos on social media has been trending for several years. But please, let's do less of the bashing and making fun of men for training and looking at females. This has to stop. People going to the gym to try and make fun of other people, this is not okay. Training and showing your form, your exercise, your lifts, your PRs and so on, that is okay. I love seeing people posting their workouts. But to make fun of other people for looking at you and so on, this needs to stop. It's 2024, enough already. Now here's one that gets me excited, though I think it is definitely late to the party, and we're talking about recovery supplements. And so Jeff's saying some of the top supplement trends of 2024 is L-carnitine and L-glutamine. I'm gonna have to say perhaps GO2max is more of a trend, considering it has NMN that's been shown in research, double-blind, placebo-controlled human studies to offer a 50% improvement in the walking test score. Did you see that? Gives you more energy, you can burn off more calories, improved cardiovascular endurance. And so if you're interested in GO2max, please use code GREG, 10% off. Click the link in description. And so Jeff speaks about protein to help muscle recovery. Of course, we have that. We also have greens. We have so many supplements. For example, creatine, beta alanine, G-test, G-shred, everything you could ever ask for, please head over to the website. Look for Acti Builder, Delta Sleep, whatever you need, head over to my website, code Greg, 10% off. Click the link in the description. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algo. Of course, like the video if you liked it. Watch one of those two bloops. And until next time, I am out.